My name is Patty Burns. I'm um, at Wombera Station, which is a property that's been owned by my husband's family for over 100 years. So it's very historic. Uh, it's only 40 kilometres northeast of Mildura. It's a property that has lots of different vegetation types and amazing pastoral history. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely place to live. 127,000 acres um, is the size of Wombera. The uh, eastern boundary, far boundary on Wombra is um, 50 kilometres directly over my shoulder, so it's a long way. <laughs> and uh, I can't see the western boundary either, but that's only two kilometres. The first time I drove on this road, I thought, how could anyone ever live here? There's not another house in sight. Such a lonely road, and um, yeah, here I am, and love it. I came to live at Wombra Station as I met uh, Ned Burns, who's my husband, at the school bus stop. Uh, we both took our daughters to the bus stop, um, just 20 kilometres from here on the um, Darling River. And uh, we formed a friendship and um, I came to live at the property in 1995 and we were married in the year 2000. Ned straight away put me in the deep end, I guess. Yeah, he bought me a pair of RM Williams boots and a pair of moleskins. <laughs> so I looked the part even though I had no idea at times. Yeah, my role on Wombra is pretty diverse, from the, um, the gardener, the housekeeper. Um, I do all the property book work. Um, so, you know, on a property this size, you're over a million dollar turnover, and you've got to keep a tight control on that. Um, to uh, being a Jillaroo, I guess, a jack of all trades. You could be anything, mending a pipeline and checking troughs, um, you know, mustering and then coming home and being, being um, a wife and, uh, and, you know, and a mother and providing that support, particularly in drought times, that's keeping everyone's spirits up and your husband's and trying to keep positive. It's uh, a very varied role. I also work on a number of committees. I worked for, uh, I'm a board member on the Lower Murray-Darling Catchment Management Authority and on another number of other committees. So it keeps me busy, but a lot of them are interrelated and we do need a voice from the land on, on committees and particularly women have a different view I find. Originally I was the only woman on the Catchment Management Authority and you need to consider more than just the land, you need to consider the people on the land and you need the people on the land to manage the land. I guess when I came to Wombra and uh, in, you know, in the past women were housebound pretty much. And I think, you know, they lacked confidence in a lot of times to stand up and speak in public or to go and represent the property on a, on a committee. I was like that, I lacked confidence. And I'd often think of things at a meeting but thought, you know, if I say, it's, get up and say something at a meeting, you know, I'll think, you know, that's a bit stupid. So I did, I did actually did a leadership course, a rural leadership course in 1997 and 98. It gave me the confidence that your opinions so what if someone else doesn't agree with it? You're never going to please everybody. Speak from your heart. Um, if you don't have a say, nothing's going to change. Now you're a, you are a business partner. You are a part of that business. You are um, doing all your admin, all your marketing, uh, yet you're still hands-on on out on the property. And I think that's really important to get that hands-on um, so that you know when you're coming to do your uh, your business side of it you have an understanding. A lot of men in the past have said, you know, my father did it this way, so this is the way we're going to do it, where women will think of a new idea and think, you know, that could work, and are willing to give things a go, you know, and um, that's important because times are changing. You've got to change with the times. You can't just run the stock, particular type of stock you like, or you've got to, you've got to grow and produce what the market wants. Wombra used to be around as a sheep station up until the early 90s, but um, Ned swapped to cropping and uh, beef cattle. Used to be roughly 50-50, you know, of your income, but now cropping's taking a much um, larger role on the property. Even though it's a semi-arid area, it's very productive, and it's it just got to be managed properly. If you look after the land, it will look after you as well, uh, is our motto. And uh, Ned and I are really proud to have 27,000 acres of private conservation. And we believe you can have that balance. And, um, you know, we're looking after the environment. 
each each generation of the Burns has, have tried to leave the property property in a better state for the next generation, and that's what I I'm trying to do too. I, it's just such a beautiful um, piece of countryside, and like to leave it in the best condition I can. Yeah, I put my heart into it, and uh, I feel part of it. Even in the dry years, you do find beauty here. It's uh, you just got to look at the small things. You know, I find driving's too, you miss too much at times. I really like to get out and walk and see the little things. You couldn't design it better than it is. It's just, nature's just, just so perfect. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's an amazing place.